All right, guys, we're talking about C-clamp. C-clamp is you grabbing the gun forward of the rail as far as possible and use a pressure with your thumb and your index finger. There's a couple of justifications for C-clamp, not just because Kyle Lamb told me to hold C-clamp, but when you hold C-clamp, you want to think about how your physical body works with your eyes. So if I take my hand and roll it over like this and I point to you as a target and I just drive my hands and then relax it and then drive my hands and relax it, what I'm doing is presenting the gun as the solution, understanding the barrel of the gun is in between my thumb and my finger. And then I try to identify where the optic is in line with my face or my eyes. So that thinking is different than trying to align your optics onto the target. So if I'm driving a solution, I drive it here and then try to confirm where I need to be and then focus on getting that right solution again and again, because you're gonna need that eye-hand coordination to drive from target to target, especially against immediate or imminent threats. So imagine Omar is holding the camera right now. Imagine he's an immediate threat. I snap it here and then snap it here. My eyes lead and then I deliver the solution, which is the shoot shooting solution between my finger and my thumb. So also, when you shoot this gun, if I put this hand underneath here, we just watch how it, how it cycles, you're gonna get muzzle flip. But if I take it and hold the front end of the gun and just simply apply pressure, I, I don't get any felt muzzle flip, it's just slight. So another thing to consider with that is a lot of people think these have a lot of recoil thumb on the right side not attached to anything only thing i'm getting is felt muzzle rise so c clamp is also important because in c clamp i want to be able to drive the target from target to target like you saw in the beginning demo so taking my c clamp and lifting my elbow allows me to push and pull the gun across a single plane if you do this then you're tilting out your C-clamp and you're leaving a path of least resistance to muzzle flip and then you're slow when driving the gun. Lastly, as a justification, I want two points of contact on this gun to be able to drive and move it. So if I'm here and I'm at high ready, the gun is this way and I'm snapping it into position. I might want to change my position here to avoid giving too much barrel this way because there's an obstacle, there's a person but I'm also thinking about the vertical obligation. If I'm in a car and I pick up my carbine to get out of it, just holding it like this, I'll hit the steering wheel, the steering column, the windshield. But if I take it like this with two points of contact, I can maneuver the gun up, clear space and snap it into position. That's low ready and high ready. Okay, many justifications for C-clamp. One that Kyle will teach you is working off of B, uh, uh, VTAC barricade. A VTAC barricade, um, when you're shooting off the edge of something, allows your C-clamp hand to stage on the end of the gun. You can actually rotate your C this way to have control, to, to barricade on the side of it to have a more stable fighting position. Many justifications for C-clamp. I just gave you a few. Till next time. Peace out.